Hey guys, and welcome to this week's Fab and Five. So today I'm going to be doing a review of the Morphe 18T Truth or Bear eyeshadow palette. It's also going to be a little tutorial. What I'm gonna do is just play around with this. I will be doing a little voiceover to walk you through what I'm doing in case you wanna follow along. And then at the end of the video, I will let you guys know my personal opinion on the palette. So if you're interested in this Morphe palette and interested in seeing what look I can create with it, then keep on watching. First, I'm going to take the shade Oh So Nude. I'm applying it with a larger fluffier brush which all of my brushes that I'm using will be linked down in the description below but I'm going to apply this all across the crease and I'm just going to do this in a circular motion buffing and blending it outwards so there's no harsh lines Now I'm taking the shade In The Buff, which is a little bit darker, and I'm going to use this with a more precise brush, basically applying it right on top of where I applied the first shade, but in a little bit more of a precise manner, and just to deepen and darken that crease. Now I'm applying the shade Spill It, which is a darker brown. I'm using a flat shader to really get super precise in the crease. So I'm basically building the depth of the brown up and every time I go darker, I'm doing it in a more precise manner and I'm actually carving out a somewhat wing shape for today's look. Now I'm going in and I'm going to buff the edges so that it's not such a harsh line. Now I'm taking the shade Open Up, which is a somewhat bronzy shade, and I'm pressing this on the outer three quarters of the lid with my finger. I'm now going in with the shade Expose, which is a beautiful rosy champagne shade, and I'm applying this on the inner half of the lid, again with my finger. Now I'm going back into the shade Spill It that I used in the crease with the same brush, and I'm going to press that along the lower lash line, Then going back into the shade in the buff, I'm going to use that to blend out that lower lash line. I'm gonna go into the shade Full Disclosure and I'm going to use that to make sure there's no harsh edges and even further soften the lower lash line. I'm going to go back into the shade Open Up and I'm going to press that around the middle of the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take the shade Unveiled and use it in the inner corner and on the brow bone to really highlight the area. Okay guys, so this is the finished look with the Morphe palette. I really, really enjoyed this palette. I think it's a very versatile and everyday palette. It varies from cool to warm toned, so it will, I think, please everybody's, you know, undertone and preference when it comes to that. It comes with beautiful metallics that are very pigmented, light reflective, and creamy. None of them accentuate texture. There was no shade in this palette that really disappointed me. The mattes really, really blended out well, like the, you know, typical Morphe Morphe formula. I've usually been impressed with Morphe and this is another success in my opinion. This is potentially my absolute favorite palette from Morphe. I've really, really enjoyed the last few palettes like the Everyday Chic, the Holiday Palette. I forget the name, but it was the Holiday Palette. Those two were probably my favorite palettes I've ever tested. And I think this one actually impressed me even more because it really just sets you up for some really beautiful looks that are geared to what I personally like. So if you are interested in this color story, I don't think you'll be disappointed when it comes to formula. I tried quite a few of the shades. The mattes, as I said, are very blendable, very pigmented. They blend well together. The difference in textures are nice. It gives you enough metallics, gives you enough mattes, and enough you know, light everyday shades and some quite a few dark shades to really create some more glam looks as well. They give you the more plummy shades. So really happy with the color story of this, with the formula of this, and with the look I was able to create. So yes, I am very, very happy with this. I do recommend it. And it is a smaller palette by Morphe. So it is even more affordable. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did follow along the look, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future videos. See you guys later. Bye.